1830, the time when the British Empire was decimating cultures and countries, establishing its might with ruthless wars, it ventured into Nepal and waged a war against the king. It was two years of long and fearful war, and the British suffered heavy casualties at the hands of the brave and fearless native warriors of the land. These warriors were popularly known as Gurkhas. Memories of the ghastly defeat in the Anglo-Nepalese war left a lasting impression on the British. They were so impressed by the undaunted ferocity of these seemingly simple people that the Victorian government initiated the first ever organized induction of the Gurkhas in the British Indian Army under the name of Kemao Provincial Battalion at Hawalabagh, Almora on April 24, 1815. After the upheaval of 1857, the same battalion of Gurkha warriors was renamed as Hard Gurkhas, a name which proudly carries its legacy to the present times. The Third Gurkhas fought many wars throughout their history, including the famous Battle of Ahmed Khel in 1880 and a 21-month-long campaign in Kandahar, Kabul. and Ghazni areas of Afghanistan. With the demand for expansion in 1887, the second battalion was raised initially with the nucleus of Garwari soldiers but later with Gurkhas only. By the year 1907, accounts of the Gurkha valor had reached Queen Alexandra, who then redesignated it as the third Queen Alexandra's own. Gurkha rifles The world at that time was in a timid state with portents of an impending world war The second third participated in first world war captured the village of Neuf Chapel killing many Germans Later in September 1915 it became part of Garwal brigade to turn the La Bessy defenses during which Rifleman Kulbir Thapa evacuated three wounded colleagues under fire and became the first Gurkha soldier to win the Victoria Cross. During the same war, the 3rd and 4th battalions saw action in Waziristan and Wana and were honored with number of gallantry awards. The coming years witnessed the 3rd Gurkhas playing a key role in the Second World War. The first third Gurkhas captured Mekhtila and also took part in fierce battles at Tawana and Piao Bui. The second third Gurkhas fought at Villa Grande when in their cookeries were used to such devastating effect that Germans could not dare to cross the lines. The battalion was awarded numerous battle honors. 
With the passage of time as various wars were fought, accounts of the indomitable courage of the brave Gurkhas added to their legend. The 4th Battalion was re-raised in 1941 to fight on the Northwest frontier where it won a MBE along with several other medals. Post-independence, the 3rd Gurkhas continued to play an important role in all the battles that were fought. In 1948, in a battle in Uri sector of Jammu and Kashmir, the 2nd 3rd captured the feature of Peer Kanti with a ferocious night attack. The battalion was decorated with three Veer Chakras and several other awards. The battalion also won the Battle Honor Uri. The 3rd Gurkha Regiment was further strengthened with the raising of the 4th and the 5th Battalions in the year 1962 and 63. During 1965, the 4th-3rd proved its mettle when it carried out a successful raid in Jammu and Kashmir sector against Park Post Panga, wherein our troops crossed the border and caused heavy losses to the enemy. The 5th 3rd had its baptism by fire when in 1971 it was tasked to clear enemy post as Shingu River. The attack was so planned that its ferocity and suddenness unnerved the enemy and the brave men had conquered the formidable feature of Hati Mata by the morning of 17 December 1971. Major V. Bhanot and rifleman Prem Bahadur Thapa of the 5th 3rd were awarded the Veer Chakra for this valiant action and the battalion was bestowed Battle Honor Shingo River Valley and Theatre Honor GNK in 1971. It is because of such brave soldiers that the pride of our country and the sanctity of its border have remained intact. Although the times of peace may last for some time, Yet the enemies around are always on a prowl to breach the order and take advantage. In the year 1999, Pak troops intruded in Kargil, Dras and Batalik sectors and occupied dominating features along the LOC. Four battalions of the regiment saw valiant action in Dras and Batalik subsectors. Third Third was awarded the General Officer Commanding in Chief, Northern Command Unit Citation and Theatre Honor Kargil. Stories of the 3rd Gorkha Rifles and their legendary courage are countless. The bedrock of this is the high standard of training these men go through. The erstwhile training companies of 3rd and the 9th Gorkha Rifles were combined to form the 39th Gorkha Training Center on October 1st, 1952 at Dehradun. The center, later relocated to Varanasi in 1975, under the command of the first commandant, Colonel Guman Singh. The skills imbibed and honed while training for war are reflected in all aspects of life. The third Gurkhas prove their caliber in sports and adventure and have traditionally excelled in football, boxing, cross country and shooting. When there is no war, the luxury of leisure is granted to the brave man. Life is allowed to embrace love, affection, celebrations, togetherness and memories. In the words of Field Marshal Sam Manikshaw, if a man says he is not afraid of dying, he is either lying or he is a Gurkha. Today the nation continues to prosper and move ahead with peace as it knows that somewhere there lies a Khukri resting silent in its sheath, prepared to shred the existence of the toughest enemy into specks of dust and above all, a strong Himalayan hand clutching it tight, the hand of the undaunted.